I'm just excited for my future. I really want to, I, I really wonder where I'm going to be at and what I will be doing in six months. Like, I'm just really excited for my future. I really want to turn a new leaf in my life. Like, I want to turn a new leaf in my life. That's all I want. And I don't want to smoke. I, I hope that all this whole bullshit that I've been going through, I just hope that everything just, just end up um, healthy. I just want healthy. I just want healthy co-parenting, healthy friendships. I just want healthy things. Like, I want healthy things. Like, sometimes I, I be having, like, that demon in me. Like, it's like, yeah, let's go live for live. But it's like, I, I, I can't do it. I'm too old. I'm too old. I just want to be happy. I want a new leaf. I want a new everything. I am so tired. Today, I'm so tired. I'm so tired today. I need I need energy. I need energy. Maybe I need associates. Um what else? What else? What else? What else? Hoy. Oh, by the way, guys, my baby's so pretty. Oh, by the way, I know the other day I posted like um a picture of like me and my baby and like her hands look very light but when i tell you my baby is brown brown like she's definitely gonna be um more um she's definitely gonna be more darker than than culture for a fact for a fact she is so pretty she looked like a little 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 doll um when she was first born, all I could see was nose, <laughs> cause she got her daddy nose. Um, I could we couldn't really tell who and what she looked like and anything, cause my baby was born kind of little, like five nine was is kind of little, but now she's getting a little bit fuller, and it's like oh my god, she really looks like a doll, like cause like she has a really really perfect face, like cause like you know like cause like babies sometimes look like aliens in the beginning because. Wave looked like Wave Wave just was funny looking when he was born. I was like, oh my God. But um my baby's so so pretty. She's so pretty. She's so so pretty. I cannot wait to start like being able to go outside with her. I can't go outside with her right now because you know, not only is she three weeks, but it's like she's very tiny. Like she's such a tiny little thing. So She's a tiny little thing. But anyways, um, where the fine niggas? I'm trying to find niggas. I've been cuffed up too long. Let me remind niggas. Going out to pop out because it's hot out. You was playing games. Now you on time out. Where the fine niggas? I'm trying to find niggas. I've been cuffed up too long. Let me remind niggas. And by the way, do I regret anything? I don't. I don't regret anything. You know what's so crazy? I never regret my relationship because I never regret my relationships because honest truth, I'm going to let y'all know this. I am a really big lover girl. Love is really my weakness. And it's crazy because um, uh, me and my hairstylist, we're both Libras, and we're very hardworking, and we're very big hustlers, and we're very creative, and we're very pretty, and we're very strong. But one thing about us, like, love is really our weakness. So one thing about me, I never really been, I, I always feel like I'm always in a relationship. I never really been the type of person that been single for too long. And even when I'm single, I be paranoid. I don't be wanting like to fuck niggas or to like entertain too many niggas because I don't be wanting my name in people's mouth. Like I'm from the Bronx and the Bronx is like, it's big, but it's little. So it's just like, like. And even in New York, when you like like popular like me and everything, I I don't want a lot of niggas that be like, yeah, I fuck, I fuck, I fuck, I fuck at this. 
like that's why like my name like it's like when people be like oh but you used to be a stripper you used to be a hoe and it's like that's why there's never really been niggas they've been like oh yeah i fuck cardi and blah blah because i always been practically in relationships and i don't really have that much exes like y'all know who my ex is y'all know my ex is which was prison babe before that i used to date a scammer for a very long time i dated this guy a jamaican guy um and i dated um my first boyfriend and one guy that i dated for you know a couple of months i'm not really like a a, a person that be outside so i'm kind of glad that like even when i came in the industry like it's like well, first of all, before I always rappers always were trying to get at me, even when I was a dancer and athlete. However, I'm really glad that like I don't regret like the whole marriage and the whole this and the whole that because I I I I don't want to like I I really didn't want it to date in the industry. Like I I feel like once you date somebody or you fuck somebody, like it's like you're stained. I feel like everybody's gonna know that you fucked them. Like. No matter how niggas be like, yeah, I'm quiet, I'm quiet. No matter what it is, if, if anybody hit this pussy, they're going to talk about it. So that's why I never really wanted, like, I don't really regret, like, oh, yeah, you got in the industry, you got married and blah, blah. I'm I'm glad it, it, it was like that. I don't, really, I don't really want my name to be around like that. Like, people already have a perception of me because I was a dancer. So I don't want, I, 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 I don't know, like, that shit is clear. So if anybody always asks me like, oh, do you, oh, do you regret? No, I don't regret nothing. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy with my three kids. <sighs> ridiculous. Yes, so motherfucking ridiculous. And yet again, you was on my fucking live. You fucking fat, nasty, pimple face bitch. Stop putting my fucking. I hate when I hate when fucking y'all stands put kids in your bullshit. Like, how the fuck did you just mix my words saying that my daughter is darker than my other daughter and her oh, with a bit, with a nose like is that? Like, what the fuck are you talking about? All my kids have their dad's nose, actually. Not one of them have my nose. And my daughter is darker. Who cares? Yes, she's darker than my daughter. She's beautiful. I literally just said my daughter is beautiful. She is beautiful, overly beyond beautiful. All my kids are beautiful, bitch. Beautiful, very smart, very everything. And I stop putting my fucking kids in your in your fucking corny shit. Y'all can talk about anything, and y'all want to put my kids in y'all shit. Really? That baby name is Casey. I just know it. Mm mm. It's not. I hate you, yo. I hate that this foot literally. What's the point of me going back and forth with a crack baby? You fucking, you a crack baby. Can't argue with a crack baby. Oh, wait, hold on. What? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry. I said it wrong. I was talking to her. I don't pay $700 an hour for a nanny. It's $700 a day. Sorry. No, I, 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 ain't trying to, I ain't trying to be funny out here like I got it like that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, it's $700 a day. $700 a day for a nanny. And that's for one baby. And then I got my cousin that I pay her to help me with my other two kids. So, add all that up. And my kids take different classes every single day. Like, they have tutoring four times a week. They have dance classes. They have soccer classes. They have piano classes. Like, add that up. That's why I don't wish bad on this and that. Because if a motherfucker go broke, honey, that means I'm going to have to pay the bills myself. <laughs> Now, my, the crib bills, I don't need help with that. But, like, shit, you're going you gonna to help out with these kids. Oh, I was, yeah, for sure. But 
But yeah, not $700 an hour, $700 a day. Fucking loser. Bitch, you're a fucking loser. These bitches is fucking losers. Ooh, this bag is hard. No, I already got... I already got a purple croc bag, but um, I've never seen a, uh, this color purple. I want the brown croc. Bro, I need to stop buying these fucking purses, bro. This shit is insane. All right, guys, I'm going to get out of here. I love you guys. God, I feel so weird today. Yep, I bet bitches is breathing heavy just listening to this fucking space. Parece que te olvido todo. Yeah, bitch, cut up. Cut up. Oh, somebody's DMing me like this bitch is listening. I know she's fucking listening to me with her fucking long fucking face ass. Which is always listening when they're not. I mean, when I'm their meal, of course I will listen. Oh, by the way, and you know what? You want to know what's so crazy? Why is it when I separate, I separate my face of myself and my baby father is a publicity stunt. But every single time that the nigga was doing him and y'all wanted to throw it in my face, it wasn't a publicity stunt. Every single time that a new bitch will come around or a new rumor will come around, y'all be the first one kicking and laughing and gagging and ha ha ha. That wasn't a publicity stunt. But when I leave, it's a publicity stunt. When you can throw that shit in my face anymore, it's not a publicity stunt, right? Y'all is mad that y'all can throw a nigga bullshit in my face no more. That's that's the issue. Because y'all, y'all, y'all was the first one <laughs> laughing and happy as fuck. Nah, yeah, that wasn't a publicity stunt, though, right? Even when certain shit was fake or certain shit was not what it was, y'all was happy as fuck. That wasn't a publicity stunt. But now that I'm leaving, is a publicity stunt? Now it's not funny anymore? It's not funny anymore how y'all was laughing every single time y'all would hear this nigga doing some shit, right? <laughs> That's why y'all really fucking mad. So yeah. Every single time these bitches would hear about this nigga being with another bitch or a rumor, or even if the nigga took a picture with a bitch, not even a bitch, I don't want to disrespect other artists. Y'all not only y'all used to clap yeah, you y'all used to clap your hands like Hercules and your fucking feet, smile from ear to ear. Uh, uh, your kids good. If your kids get good grades on the report card, y'all want to smile just as hard as y'all used to smile when y'all feel like a nigga was hurting me with another bitch. But now that I'm leaving, 
<laughs> it's a publicity stunt. Now that I left and I'm moving on with my life, it's a publicity stunt. Because y'all can't cackle no more. But yeah. 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 That's all. That's what I wanted to say, guys. Gosh, yo, the way that I had, yo, this headache that I fucking had last night, that shit fucking had me waking up, like, in hell. Testoro, si no te tengo a mi lado, si no estás cerca de mí. Mm -hmm. Alright. Yes, but it gotta be 20. Yeah, but in 25. Yeah, but in 25. I don't know what I want for my birthday. Everybody keep asking me, what am I doing for my birthday? I don't know what I want to do for my birthday. I don't know. I really don't. All right. Love ya. Thank you, guys.